Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe. Today we're going to be making a strawberry blueberry cobbler. And this came out really, really great. Now, if you notice the color on it's kind of a little dark because I left it in the oven just a little bit longer than they probably should have, but it just came out really, really great. This particular recipe, I uh, ended up using uh, fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries, and you can just frozen too as well. And the feature about this whole thing is the cobbler crust. And the, again, I forget where I posted the... Uh, where I got the original uh, recipe from, but all these recipes are in the show more in the YouTube links in their channels. And uh, don't forget those, you know, if you see something you like uh, on the uh, show more for recipes, check out the YouTube channels and uh, subscribe to the channel. Like, like please subscribe to mine. And uh, if you follow me along with the simple steps about putting this together, this came out really, really great. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about it at the end of the video. So again, from this point on, there'll just be music playing in the background. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps my channel grow. And uh, remember, have an amazing day. Love you guys, and thank you for watching the channel. What we got going on here, guys, I got some fresh strawberries that I rinsed off, and now I'm just prepping them, and then I got them into my bowl, and then I'm adding the fresh blueberries right on top of the strawberries. This is a pretty much straightforward and easy recipe to follow along. And, uh, you know, nothing tastes better than fresh. Of course, you can use frozen, and this works This works with any kind of fruit. And, uh, yeah, so follow me along, and like I said, you guys will be fine. I hope you enjoyed the way I've been doing these videos. And, again, because of uh, the background noise, I'm doing voiceovers, and then I'm just talking over the original video timeline, then over here, that's why you see my hands moving. Now I'm just taking a fork, and I'm kind of, like, crushing them up a little bit, and I just lost the strawberry or blueberry, and I put it back in the bowl. Now I'm adding uh, a little bit of Xantrum gum. I'm adding uh, th three quarters of a teaspoon of Xantrum gum, and that acts as a thickening agent. And then I'm just kind of, like, mixing it up a little bit, and, uh, you know, i got to keep an eye on my... Uh, crazy cat over here in the back room there again there he's uh he's all over the place he's just curious you know typically if you got a pet you know what I'm talking about what we got going on here guys is we got three quarters of a cup of blanched almond flour and this is the uh, Walmart brand And now it's time to add the granulated swerve. I'm adding two tablespoons. And uh, yeah, I just dump it in and I mix it all up really, really well. And uh, again, I'm just uh, looking over the timeline there when I'm just talking over the video because the original video, it was really a terrible video that I posted. It's really amazing that my channel survived all this time there and, and actually getting now up with well over a thousand subscribers. And now I'm adding a little bit of melted butter, two tablespoons of melted butter, and it could be any kind of butter. I'm using unsalted butter from the Kerrygold brand. And again, this is your uh, base for your cobbler crust, and you can use this cobbler crust base for just about any of your favorite uh, desserts and now that we got the holidays coming up pretty soon um you know it's really great to start thinking about what you want to make for your holidays and now we're adding a little bit of uh, lemon i had the bottle lemon because that's all they had on hand and if you have fresh you can have uh, fresh is even better and the uh the lemon amount i used was uh d d d d d d yeah lemon i bought it maybe a tablespoon of fresh lemon or or like in my case it was a bottle lemon and i'm just uh, mixing that all up and uh if you feel as if it's not um, uh, granulating enough, like uh, I ended up adding a little more lemon to it. I don't know if I put it on the uh, original timeline or not when I was filming this, but anyways, it, you know, the, the uh, cobbler crust should feel like a little bit of sandpaper, and if you feel as if you need to add more lemon juice, add more. Yeah, fresh lemon is much, much better than the uh, pot of lemon. And then I, uh, now you can see that I just added a little more because I felt that wasn't quite ready enough. And then, of course, if you don't have lemon, you can always use apple cider vinegar as well. I've done all, all of that before in the past. I mean, this is really fine. This uh, recipe came out really, really great, by the way. So that's, now that you have the uh, cobbler crust all pre-made, just put it on top of the uh, blueberries and strawberry uh, uh, pan there. And, the, the, and then with, uh, I believe I might have added some butter on top, a few tablespoons of butter and popped that in the oven at about 350, 400 for about 15, 20 minutes until it was golden brown. Again, in my particular case, I uh, left it in a little bit too long. Just be aware of almond flour. It does burn pretty quickly if you don't pay attention to it. And now you can see me just getting ready to uh, 
spread out the mixture on top of the uh, my pan. Now let's go ahead and bake that in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until the crust is nice and golden brown. And uh, again, I thought I added butter to this particular recipe on top there. And you could add a few slabs of butter. I've done that before as well. But this uh, recipe came out really, really fantastic. And there you have our final product. I mean, look how great that is and looks there. It tasted really, really fantastic. You could even put a mixture. You can get one of those bags of frozen vegetables. That are, uh, not vegetables, I'm sorry. Uh, fruit that's, uh, you know, mixed uh, fruit and stuff like that. And if, like, again, frozen and fresh, we're all, they all, it all works. And it's all really fantastic. And, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and the way I've been doing these videos now. And, uh, you know, sorry about all the jibber jabbers. I apologize for all the uh, older videos that I posted and, you know, just trying to get them up on the channel there. And now I'm realizing more and more ever than ever it's more important to get these videos up in a timely fashion and you have uh, better quality videos. Again, I'm filming by myself and it's really, really hard to uh, film this stuff. And, uh, you know, you know uh, when you got a lot of background noise and, you know, we, we have my, my wife and now my cat and we got to, you know, we all have to live in the same apartment. And uh, again, the street noise has been horrendous. And uh, when I get quiet time like I have right now, I like to put all these videos and re-edit some of the older ones and some of the older ones I, I never put up for whatever various reasons. And, uh, you know, continue to uh, inspire as many of you to get out there and get healthy. And that's the bottom line, guys. You have to get out there and get healthy and uh, eat properly. And uh, again, thank you for coming along with my journey and watching these amazing videos. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.